Tiny TV, if you're at the crossroads in your life, <laughs> it's right there, like those roads split right there, Fort and Polly. I'm standing right on Polly when you come down from the windward side, and, and there's longs, see? Make longs a part of your day. And, I, well, I, I don't know the rest of the jingle, but when you come right down Polly, there's longs, and then you go that way down Bishop Street and Fort, and uh, right here is Kukui Street. Just trying to give you a, an idea of where, where we're at. This is called the Si Dai Du Society Building. It's what it says, Si Dai Du. See as I do. <laughs> it's been here forever. You know, it's got kind of that little gritty look to the side, and it's, it's right next to Long's. Uh, People's Cafe is right around the back, a part of the tiny TV cow cow card. Uh, but but right in downtown Honolulu. The reason why I want to show you where it is because a lot of people are right downtown here and they got to do their tax services. And I have mine right here. I'm not kidding. It's not even in a shoebox. It's in a in a soda container, cardboard box. And I got all my envelopes and see it's mine. And, and I'm I'm trying to do my my taxes. So let me pick this up. It's a little heavy. But if you're like me, don't feel bad. This guy has helped me. I'm going to go inside the C. Dai Du Society building to ask Michael Hall for assistance and his staff. Good people. Michael Hall is a enrolled agent and that means he knows how to talk to the guys from the IRS and the state office. He's helped me out several times. If you're like me, no be shame. As I go upstairs, second floor, to see Michael, you watch this video when he's talking to some other business people at Dave & Buster's. It was a networking event, and you can kind of see how serious and at the same time real he is. So if you need help with your taxes, of course you want to see Michael Hall, enrolled agent of Hawaii State Tax Services. Hawaii, I hope I got that right. Well, listen to Mike first. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. Hey, aloha everybody, and Michael Hall and Associate. We mainly concentrate on small business people because they have a unique set of challenges that are theirs and theirs alone. So today's workshop is designed to help us through this. This is a practical, hands-on workshop. This isn't in a book so you can take a test. The goal of this is to give you something that you take home, that you can put into use that either saves you money on taxes or just makes your life less taxing, less hassle. So this is a very practical workshop. It's a workshop, not a speech. At any time you raise your hand, you got a question, answer, ask it. Don't feel shy or embarrassed at all. There's time allowed for that. Why are we talking about what is a business? Because tax-wise, you really need to know if you're in a business or not. The IRS defines a business as an activity engaged in continuously for profit. Real simple. Give me the next one. What's not a business? A hobby. Okay, the distance between a business and a hobby is going to become real apparent. If you have a business and you lose money, you can use those losses to offset other income. But you got to be in business to make a profit. Remember we said purpose of business, make a profit. So if you go three years without making a profit, the IRS is very likely to reclassify your business as a hobby. Um, Hobby, you got a wood shop and you make ukuleles on the, on the weekends. You know what I mean? And you love it and you make five or six ukuleles a year and you sell them for a couple thousand dollars each. You have to report that income. Remember, in our tax return, we must report all income. We have three kinds of income, taxable, reportable, and recordable. And we'll go into that again in a minute. But you have to report, but it's not fair. You got to pay taxes because you made some weekend ukuleles on the weekend for a hobby. So you can deduct all of your expenses for your hobby up to the point where you didn't make any money or have any loss. But you cannot go out and buy $100,000 worth of woodworking equipment, make three ukuleles a year and deduct all that money against your other income. We got receipts, records and retentions. If I don't say receipts at least 10 times a day, I'll give everybody in the room their money back. There's nothing more important in business than receipts. There is nothing more important in business than receipts. How long do you keep stuff? Well, you keep your tax returns for 10 years. Sounds silly, but the IRS receives over 250 million returns a year. 
In four years, that's a billion returns. You don't think they lose some? Your computers ever go down? When they come back on, something's missing? Same thing happens to them. You go, hey, we don't have your 2004 tax return. We want it. We show that you made 80 grand. Keep your tax returns for 10 years. Same thing, keep your business records for 10 years. The IRS can go back three years without any reason at all for an audit. Just routinely go back. They can go back to seven years if they think that your return has unreported income. They go to 10 years if they think there's criminal enterprise. Um, what I like about Michael Hall is the fact that uh, he explains a very difficult subject matter, taxes, everything that everybody hates to talk. They want to avoid taxes. They don't even want to talk about taxes. Michael Hall makes the subject matter of taxes and he breaks it down very simple and the way he simplifies things so people like Joe Public can understand, even myself. And what I like about it, he does it in, in different increments and subject matters, takes one topic, breaks it down, and does a great job of explaining to, uh, to the average guy. And he also is a local boy, so he knows how to relate to people here locally, uh, knows the tax laws, uh, has been very good about uh, covering all uh, of everything of the spectrum. So if you're looking for somebody that really you need to uh, help you uh, take a very um, complex matter and break it down easily and do a good job of that, Michael Hall and Michael Hall Associates is somebody for you. A lot of information, really like there's a lot of things I don't know. Look forward to learning more and hopefully how to do my taxes properly. Thank you very much, Michael. Oh my God, I love this class. I learned so much information about tax and I'm so happy that I came. Great information. Wow, Michael Hall. Great presentation, well accredited. We're back at his office right downtown. Here he is, Mike. Oh, that was terrific. You, you must do that all the time, speaking in, in front of people. Well, aloha, Tiny, and thank you. Yes, I do. That actually started several years ago when the Internal Revenue Service asked me to fill in for one of their speakers. That led to SBA having me do a series of tax workshops at the Small, small Business Women's Center. I currently lecture regularly for the University of Hawaii on the other islands. Uh, this year I went to the Big Island four times, to Maui, to Molokai. Next year we'll probably go to Kauai also. All talking about how taxes affect small business people. Now a, a lot of people are taking notes, they're really paying attention and, and they should because not enough people do. There's a lot that just kind of put it off and, and your statement to them is pretty much you have to pay your taxes. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no way out of it. We drive on the roads, we got to pay the taxes to keep them. Whether or not the system is fair, that doesn't really pertain to our conversations today. It's just a fact of life. And you've told me this before on the show, to write down all the events of who you're with and what uh, you were talking about and the place, because on the receipt, it, it fades out sometimes. Wow, Tiny, you are actually listening. Uh, congratulations. You're right, to make it simple for meal deductions, I call it the four Ps. Now the important thing to remember before we get into it, there must be a business purpose to the meal. So the first thing you need to write on is what is the purpose of this meal that you are deducting? Why is it a business expense as opposed to just going out with your significant other? What makes it a business expense, say, Tiny, you take me out to lunch today. You would write down the first P, the purpose, your taxes, discussing your taxes. The next P is the person. Who are you having this business meal with? Then third, of course, we wanna write down the price and don't forget to add on your tip because that's what you spent. And lastly, the place. Some people, why do I have to write the name of the place and the price down? Because the receipt will fade. If you do not have a receipt with that information on it, the odds are at any audit, all of those receipts will be thrown away, period. They want proof that it was a business expense. Okay, now that we know what we need to write down, what we should save, how long do we hold records? How long should we keep them? That, my friend, is a really, really good question. And it depends on what type of records. To make it really simple, everything for three years, business records for seven years, and general excise tax payment proof for 10 years. 
The reason for holding those for 10 years is sometimes, unfortunately, the state of Hawaii's records are not too good, and they will send you a bill and ask you to prove that you paid your t general excise taxes five or 10 years ago. And if you can't prove it, you're gonna owe it again. Okay, this is the part of the show where my viewers trust me and I really lay it out. I only eat at restaurants that I like. I don't talk about places that I, I wouldn't want, want my family to go to, but I really trust Mike. And Mike, I want you to kind of, I know you don't like doing this, but brag about yourself. Tell us what you do because he's helped me out. Uh, if you've ever been in a bind, you guys have, you know, from levies to all those scary letters and, and can't sleep at night because of these tax burdens. This is why you should call Mike. Mike? Well, Tiny, there's actually three things we do, but we're going to narrow it down to the goal. People come to me, often they sit in my office and cry because of their difficulties with the IRS. What we do is we bring relief. I tell all of my clients and prospects, when we get done, you'll go to sleep at night and you won't think about the IRS. I do not promise pennies on dollars like the IRS, like the people on TV do. Sometimes that's true, you do get away with paying pennies on the dollar, but that's not necessarily the goal. The goal is to give you back your life and get the IRS out of your life. What is the number one thing that happens to people? They get audited. And they get audit, and an audit is not something you want to go through. Uh, I often explain, you know, we have a voluntary tax system. You volunteer what you made, you volunteer what your expenses are, and you send it to the IRS. And the IRS has an auditor who is trained and whose job it is is to find any defect in your tax return and to apply the law in the strictest manner favoring the IRS. I'm Michael Hall. I'm an enrolled agent, licensed by the Internal Revenue Service to help taxpayers with their problems. If you'd like to sleep better tonight, if you'd like to get the IRS out of your life, give us a call. Our number is 529-1040. If you're out of state, it's 808-529-1040. We make a very simple promise to all of our clients. We will bring you relief from the tax problems that you have, and you'll be able to put that out of your life, get the Internal Revenue Service or any other taxing authority out of your life and allow you to go on with your life. Wow. I gotta tell you, I feel better already just listening to this and watching myself, and he's helped me again several times. We'll leave the number on the screen, and remember he also does tax preparation with his office and staff, and Mike wants to add one more thing. Yes, uh, really very simply, our services are personal, professional, confidential, and non-judgmental. Anything you tell me is private and protected under the privacy laws. You gotta trust that guy. And like the sign says, making life less taxing. Everything they can do to represent and help you with the state and the IRS. Phone number again, Mike. 808-529-1040. Okay, if you've done your own taxes, you know the forms and that number should sound familiar. 529-1040. That's it. All right, it's Michael Hall and Associates, a fine sponsor and helper and lifesaver of Tiny TV on OC16, Tax Services of Hawaii.